In other news, Singapore's home team is using cutting-edge technology to boost their frontline officers' performance in high-stress situations. The new Explore facility will help design better armour and equipment and simulate realistic crisis scenarios for better training. Its seven labs are billed as the first of their kind to be dedicated to boosting human performance for public safety. Noah Kong reports. You're looking at the Singapore Home Team's first mixed reality simulator. Built by the Home Team Science and Technology Agency, or HTX, it's one of seven laboratories researching advanced gear and training methods for frontline officers. So I've just been through a few rounds of close quarter combat in the Cortex facility, and it's really not as simple as shooting whoever you see. Enemies pop out of blind corners, sometimes from two directions at a time, and you need to make the judgement call, who's the good and who's the bad guy. And to make it better, the weight and recoil of these weapons are as realistic as it can be, while being safe for indoor training. The system can be expanded across larger training areas. Engineers are also developing AI-powered opponents that learn each officer's combat style to present fresh challenges. The Sensory X lab recreates the smell and heat of a crime scene or a fire, immersing officers as they learn to focus under high pressure. Meanwhile, the X-Man and X-Sim labs develop protective equipment customized to each officer's body shape. They can even simulate how these gear will perform in hostile environments. The Bionics lab takes it further. It measures how equipment strains the body to design safer, more comfortable gear. Finally, the Oculox lab simulates crime scenes, command centers and vehicle operations using virtual reality technology. The Minister of State for Home Affairs believes these developments are vital to maximizing officers' potential. I'm confident that the systems and the equipment that are developed from this Explore facility will help our officers do their jobs more effectively and more safely. And this is important because people will always be at the core of our home team, even as, and especially as, more and more technological solutions are being rolled out. HTX says it stays ahead by working closely with officers and understanding their pain points. Our value proposition is really in developing um, models that accurately represent our home team officers. And when I say models, this would apply uh, broadly to physical models, the cognitive models, even their team-based uh, collaboration as well. And uh, that is, I would say, the secret sauce. Because once you have these uh, human models, um, a lot of uh, things can be achieved. None of us have the domain expertise, but with the cooperation and even the close uh, working uh, relationship with the home team officers, we are able to actually work with them to see how we can design to participate in the trial and sharpen the trial so that we can actually fine-tune the model more accurately. Future plans for the facility include expanding simulator capacity and developing even more realistic training.